Welcome to today's video news. I'm Megan Lam. A group of clans recently caught people's attention after an article was posted by China Science Communication Online. Although these clams are usually regarded as nothing more than delicious food, they work to monitor the local water quality in Poland. Gruba Kaska Pumping Station, which stands in River Wisła, helps provide millions of litres of water to Warsaw, the capital of Poland. However, one particular concern for the water quality has been heavy metals, and researchers sought help from nature to solve this problem. Clams are sensitive to pollutants in their environment as they filter water to feed on microorganisms. They shut their shells immediately after detecting dangerous water. Based on this, the researchers selected eight clams at a time and recorded the natural opening of their shells. After the clam employees became accustomed to the local water, they are placed in a specially designed container. With sensors stuck onto their shells, the clams are connected to a system that records how wide the shells are open. If four or more clams close their shells at the same time, an alarm will be triggered and the water supply will be shut down. The result is reliable because the creatures are considering many different factors at the same time according to ZME science. Animals have long been helpers for human activities. Farmers in North Queensland, Australia, have been ordering different species of dog beetles to help clean up cattle dog, according to ABC News. As the number of cattle grows, their waste increases, leading to an enormous population of flies and a worsening environment. Dug beetles, however, take the waste and bury it. This way, they help improve soil quality. Similarly, cockroaches are used to deal with kitchen waste at several firms in China, according to a report of the Beijing News in 2018. About 300 million cockroaches are fed 15 tons of food waste on a daily basis and they themselves are a good protein resource for livestock. That's all for today's video news. See you next time!